Welcome to Nitec Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise based on our previous lesson, which was angular motion, engineering science and form. The exercise that we are doing, it's an exercise I've taken from a question paper that was written on the 2nd of April, 2015. It's question number two, and it reads as follow. 2.1, define angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity and then we go to the question to the second question which is 2.2 they say the spin dryer of a washing machine rotating at 800 revs per minute slows down uniformly to 300 revs per minute in 30 revolutions and then the questions they say calculate the angular displacement of the spin dryer the second question calculate the angular acceleration that question Calculate the time required to turn through 30 revolutions. And this is the information that we are given. We are given the initial and final rotational frequency of the machine. And we are given the number of revolutions made by the spin dryer. And then the first question, they say, calculate the angular displacement of the spin dryer. We have a formula that says... It's 2.2.1. The angular displacement is equal to 2 pi n, where our n is the number of revolutions made by the machine. And we say 2 pi times the number of revolutions made by the machine is 30. Therefore, we'll get our answer is 188.1. Four nine six right. And then we go to the second question where they say <coughs> calculate the angular acceleration. The angular acceleration 2.2.2. We will use this formula that says final angular velocity squared is equal to initial angular velocity squared. plus 2 times the angular acceleration times angular displacement. We have this, we have this. Or we can calculate these two since we have the rotational frequencies. And then this one we have. The only thing that we do not have is the angular acceleration which we are trying to get. So first we have to get the angular velocity. Number one. We use the initial rotational frequency using the formula 2 pi n, where now our n is the revolution, the rotational frequency given in revolutions per second. When you are calculating for the angular velocity, our n, capital letter n, is revolutions per second, it's the rotational frequency. Here, we were calculating for the angular displacement. Our n is the number of revolutions made by that machine. So, we say 2 pi times 800, which will give us our angular velocity number 1 is 83.776 rads per second. And our final angular velocity is 2 pi times our final rotational frequency, which is 300. And we get an answer of 81.416 rads per second. And then we come to this equation, we make the angular acceleration the subject of the formula, which would give us W2 squared minus W1 squared divided by 2 times the angular displacement, which will give us uh, 81.416 squared minus 83.776 squared 
2 times the angular displacement, which is 188.496. And then we get our angular acceleration as negative, since we can clearly see that it is a deceleration. Negative 15.999 rads per second squared. And then we go to the third question. They say, calculate the time required to turn through 30 revolutions. And then, now we will use this formula. It's 2.2.3. We use the formula that says, final angular velocity, it's equals to initial angular velocity plus angular acceleration times time we are looking for the time we make it the subject of the formula which we get w2 minus w1 divided by alpha we substitute we already have all these variables 31.416 minus 83 0.776 it's, ang it's deceleration, therefore we include the negative sign. 15.999. And we get the time as... ...3.273 seconds. This is our answer. And then we go to... 2.3 they say a force of 200 newtons is applied to the end of a spanner the perpendicular distance between the nut and the working line of the force is 0 0.6 meters question number one they say calculate the torque question number two calculate the work done when the nut is turned through an angle of 60 degrees and this is the information that we are given. This is the scenario, and we are asked to calculate the torque. We know torque is equal to force times a radius. This is the radius, this is the force. 200 times 0 0.6 is equal to 120 newtons per meter, newton meter newton meters and then 2.3.2 .2. they say calculate the work done when the nut is turned through an angle of 60 degrees we have a formula that says work done it's equals to t times theta it is in our formula sheet talk we have this we know we are dealing with angular motion therefore our angle we always use it in radians and we said the relationship between the degrees and the radians is that one rad it's equals to five point five seven point three five three point seven degrees therefore we have 60 degrees we want it in radius we will cross multiply and divide and we get that our answer will be 1.047 rad and we put here our torque is 120 times our angle 1.047 which will give us a work done of blah, 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 blah. One to five point six four joules. Or if you want to do it in another way, you can say you can say work done. We know work done is cost to force times distance. Force we already have. And the distance we will use the formula that says uh Linear displacement is equal to 
r times the angular displacement where our r is 0 0.7 0 0.6 times our angular displacement is this one 1.047 we and we get our distance as our linear distance is 0 0.628 meters. We come to this formula, we say the force is 200 times the distance is 0 0.628. And our answer is 125.6 joules, which is the same as this one. And that is basically the end of our question. And it is basically the end of our lesson today. I will see you on the next lesson.